Hi, this is Texas Tiger Digs. Well, it's been a while since I've been out. It's been coldish for Texas and rainy and miserable. And that's pretty much of a universal description. So I haven't been out a whole lot. Now, if I was looking forward to that for an extended period of time, I probably would have gone out and did a few more uh a few more runs with my metal detector, a few more hunts. Because I knew the weather was going to get better. I just waited for a while. You know, did a few things. Tidied up. Uh, did what was required around the house. And now I'm ready to get back at it. Uh, I'm going out with an octa. I created a video just yesterday. Uh, where I did air tests on the three Nocta coils. So I figure uh, if I'm ever going to post that, I'd better go ahead and get this thing out and apart. I've done a couple of other tests right now and it's pretty much what I expected and probably what makes this not the first thing that comes to mind when you attack a park. Uh, you cannot or I could not. If somebody knows how to do it, give me a shout. So I'm not going to say I could not uh, turn discrimination to the point where it would discriminate out pull tabs. Now admittedly I don't have all the pull tabs that are on the market so maybe I could have discriminated out others but Nocta doesn't actually promise that. It's called an iron discrimination uh, dial. So there, there's no doubt that that they are giving you the exact uh, facts about what it discriminates. So that's not a big deal. I did also, uh, you know, this morning or this evening com combined run a few coins so I can, you know, discriminate the high tones of, say, a quarter or a dime or silver in general from the mid tones of a nickel or, you know, gold, etc., all following that mid tone range. So I also did that. So I've got somewhat of an idea of what it sounds as much as my tin ear can uh, can deliver to my brain. So uh, I'm going to be out. I'm going to give it a run and we'll see how it works. I'm going back to the park I pounded before because each time I go out to that park I pounded with new machines it's, it appears to open up a new avenue and uh, new new finds. So I'm going to go out with this one and see if it uh, if it continues to hold true. And uh, we'll see how this works. Uh, I'm not using the huge coil. I'm using, I think this is the 9-inch coil, which is the standard coil. Uh, I'm not using any, either of the coil, coils for my uh, accessory pack. The huge coil, which I believe is 15 by 17 or something like that. And then the small coil, which I believe is 7 inches. So I'm not going to be using either one of those. I'm going to use just a stock coil. I'm going to go out and give it a try today. In any case, uh, I will see you at the park, and we'll see how uh, Nocta, which I admit is a relic hunter by design, does in the park. So, uh, I'll see you there. Uh, my favorite park, when I'm in a time crunch, is the one I've been pounding. And like I say, I've had an intuition that eventually it was going to lead to something good, but I'm not going to that intuition all the way to the end but I do want to try my Nocta out in this park because I'm pretty much aware of the trashy areas and since the Nocta is not that discriminating about things like pull tabs and square tabs uh, I this is perfect place to use this and to test it out and I'm at that stage and working with this park that I am just digging basically everything. I'm trying to find uh, the quote-unquote ring, the golden fleece for us uh, metal detectorists. So we'll see how it works. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Going immediately to the area that gives me all the headaches with the EMI. I think that it probably affects those machines in the middle of the kilohertz range 10 kilohertz 12 kilohertz in that range uh, 14 i think the tehan falls in that range and a couple of the other machines i've used out here that have really been aggravated by this emi 
The Tejon still functioned, but it was a little bit hard to hear the signals through the static. So I'm going to give this a shot out here, and then we'll see how it's going to work. And uh, like I said, this is my first test of the Nocte in the park, so I'm kind of excited. Nocte yet, but I have pulled up a couple of pieces of foil. And I've been over this with several detectors, and I'm digging everything, and I would have run across this before. So, so far it's looking real good, so I'll keep looking. I'll keep trying, see if I come up with something good. Deep foil, relatively deep. It's so deep, well, I didn't get it with my other detector, so, so far the Nocta is showing me things that I missed with the other detectors. Now, in other words, it's been a value, but this is pretty doggone impressive. Now, I've been in this area, and this area is where I have the most EMI. I have not been able to find these signals, because I would have dug them, but I'm not finding them. I wasn't finding them. With the Nocta, I'm finding them. That's unusual. Anyway, I'll keep looking. Hopefully I'll find something of value. Nickel. So, okay, so Nocta is giving me something besides foil. Great. Let's see if I can knit this saw back together and uh, move on to the next one. Crash, but since this is a test of a new machine, I did find a little piece of foil about two and a half, three inches, three inches, maybe three, four inches now. So, the Noct is doing pretty good. It's going reasonably deep. And it is giving me some, uh, some hits. Attributing this to the, the detector picked it up, but it wasn't like it had to go through a lot of depth, so I just picked this up and take it with me, so, uh, it's nice to get a freebie every once in a while, it's a dime by the way, okay, it's not like winning an Academy Award or Grammy, but it does look like the Nocta has won a place in my heart and in my park rotation. You know, I mentioned earlier that it was a relic hunting machine. I also should have meant, in addition to being a relic hunting machine, it is also supposed to be a very, very good beach machine. Now, I can actually test that because we have some uh, artificially created lake beaches around here, so I might be able to try that a little bit later. Uh, and I have permits to uh, to detect in, on a couple of those areas. So, but uh, this was great. I went out with the knocked on one of my micro hunts, and you know how productive my micro hunts are usually not. But this time I went out and I've got this. This is, uh, they're four coins, so I guess I have to give knocked the credit for four. Uh, let's just, the dime was a surface find. But let's just say, you know, let's just make it four or three if you prefer. And what made this great was not the number of coins, but the, f and the trash. And the trash was impressive also. So this is an area I had pounded pretty thoroughly. And you know I've been running my discrimination wide open quite a bit lately. And that's possible I could have gone over these spots with a discrimination uh, during one of my I need to find something valuable to maintain my concentration modes. But on a whole, I believe I hit this with my Tejan. I hit it with my Cibola. And at that point, I had them both turned down pretty good beneath foil. And I should have gotten these. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the, with the, with the Tesoros. But uh, I'm just saying there's something great about the Nocta. So here I go. All of these pieces were in the area that I pounded, and it was also in the area of the high EMI. Now, unfortunately, uh, the Nocta did react to the EMI, so I can't say it was perfect there, uh, but everything else, else I've had has reacted to the EMI. But uh, the Nocta, it, somewhat like the Tejan, despite the fact that it got the static and uh, 
congestion caused by the EMI, I was still able to hear the signals. They were loud and clear. And in fact, two of these coins and the dime, it was a surface find, but it was still detected, were in the area of the high EMI. So I was still able to get things done there. So, but this is pretty impressive. So, uh, I've I've got uh, two videos uh, backed by this. I did the uh, video doing a little error test, and now I've done actually go, gone out and used it in a park for basically the first time. So I'm really really happy with the results. Now, so uh, the Nocta has earned itself into my rotation in non-trashy areas of a park. Now. All areas of a tr park are trashy, but I'm not going to be using a Nocta around picnic tables or anything along those lines. I'm going to be going in with discrimination up at least some in those areas just uh, just to avoid, you know, the, probably the, the every two inches of signals you get from pool tabs, square tabs, foil tops, etc. But anywhere out and away from that area where there's a field area, the Nocta really showed me something here. I think it'll work. Now, uh, and especially since I'm looking for rings or anything along those lines. So I need to run a discrimination open most of the time. So that makes the Nocta a great machine. Now, like I said, it doesn't discriminate. I could not turn it down where it would ignore pool tabs. It iron, it iron discriminates. I turned iron off. And that's what I worked with. Anyway. I really liked it, and uh, if somebody else has had some background with this, uh, give me a, give me a uh, drop a comment, uh, uh, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. I'd be interested in discussing this with you, and uh, I'll be talking to you later. Um, by the way, subscribe. Uh, like I said, this is my this is the last machine in my arsenal, but my arsenal updates from time to time, so there could be something new in the near future. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, and you have a good day, and happy hunting.